This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Rajni Khan bags the NDTV ND Entertainer of the Year Decade Award calls Endiran his best performance. Karunanidhi displays his milk of human kindness with a moderate increase in the procurement price of milk, but will it add to the consumer's burden? As the probe for the culprits of the 2G scam digs deeper, corporate behemoths, Reliance Communications and the Tatas are at each other's throats. The killer of little Aditya will be locked behind bars for a lifetime and lower court slaps her with a fine. The corporation budget has been announced and this time it is slum-centric. Mr. Bayer does not spell out any new taxes for the city. Uh, for the slum dollars, basically what uh, we have announced is that uh, we will have a mobile health van going and serving the slum uh, area. Amma takes out her calculator and her game has begun. She allots three seats to her allies already in the first round of allotment. The poll committee of the TNCC is in the capital to head talks on seat sharing with their state in charge ahead of May's polls. There is an NDTV Hindu impact scene in the corporation's allocation this year. New burial grounds for two minority communities will be allotted. We thank the NDTV Hindu for highlighting our cemetery problem to the uh, public. In today's letter addressed to Pranav Babu from Chennai, the subject reads Petrol Prize was signed IT professional. An MSD rules out physical fatigue to be a detriment in the World Cup performance. Hello and welcome to the Late Night News on NDTV Hindu. I'm Evelyn Matthew. Let's go back to the Indian of the Year Awards where uh, Rajni Khan has received his award. But a look at some of the other performances and the awards for tonight. One of the greatest that I've ever played the game. Arguably the greatest player ever. In my era, I think he's the best player that I've ever played against. He was the hardest bloke I had to bowl to. To actually bowl against the great Sachin Tendulkar is always an honour. There was something in him that, that was different than the other. The world has told me that I am small, but I am the most powerful batsman of the world. को भी क्रिकेट देखना था तो सचिन को ही पैदा किया देवता है गॉड है इज भगवान इज इज क्रिकेट गॉड Sachin, I know you hate all that. You're a modest guy, you just want to keep behind the scenes. But so many people admire you in the cricket world. You heard all of them. Who do you admire? I, I grew up watching uh, you know, Vivian Richards and Sunil Gavaskar. Uh, these were the, my, my batting heroes. Right. And uh, I, wanted, I wanted the aggression of Vivian Richards and, and, and the dedication and focus, concentration of Sunil Gavaskar in my game and wanted to combine my batting having both these qualities. That's a great uh, idea, great target actually. Can't get better than that. Right? Yes, I mean I always had this fascination for hitting the ball as hard as possible, as further as possible. That's Vivian Richards. Uh, yes, I mean I tried. <laughs> But uh, also at the same time, if I wanted to change the momentum of the game, I should be able to control it right. by leaving the ball or just hanging around for That's a while. Sunil Gavaskar. And, and that was, uh, you know, just being solid. Beautiful. Uh, 19 years ago, I interviewed you. Now you're 37. Uh, have you ch adjusted your technique at all since then to take into account I think the pressure of, on your... 
plenty of changes have taken place and uh, you know it, it uh, literally happens on daily basis and consciously without you no sometimes oh, i mean sometimes without you realizing yeah uh, because you know you're wanting to get better and that process to me never stops yeah uh, God there is you. there is uh, no uh, you can't say that uh, okay fine you can only reach to this level and then you can't get better because you are making mistakes you never stop making mistakes yeah, yeah. So if you're That's making true. mistakes, then there is always room for improvement, and I just follow that formula. And while trying to get better, there have uh, been plenty of changes. Just have a look at yourself, 19 years ago. Can you believe it's been 20 years already? 1989 was the year Tiananmen Square happened, when Rain Man won the Best Picture Oscar, and when this song was number one. It was the time when we used to watch The World This Week. I spent the day with the young Tendulkar, who I found to be quiet and shy, but there's an underlying confidence and a kind of steel or solidity that makes him temperamentally so different from all the rest. It also happens to be Sachin's 19th birthday today, and I'm sure I'm joined by all our viewers in wishing him a very happy birthday. A very, very happy birthday, and uh, maybe there'll be another 19 years, at least, of world-class cricket. Thanks a lot. Let us hope so. Let us hope so, and let the whole country, and it has worked out. Well, it's not even 90 years, and I would like to say now, and for the record, I hope, sure, I hope you have another 19 years, and I wouldn't be surprised. I want to ask you two questions I asked then. One is, and I will compare now answer with that answer. What do you feel like when you get out? Yes, it's... I mean, there are times when I feel, okay, maybe it was a good ball. Hmm. Uh, I couldn't have done much. Uh, and there are times when, you know, you come back thinking, what have you done? <laughs> and, and uh, you know, a batsman is always uh, ready to criticize himself. For them. Why right. did I do this? Right. There was no need to rush. You could right. have just, you know, waited for a while. Or maybe sometimes you get out blocking. So right. those, are, those are the times when you feel that I should have gone for it. Yeah. I should have played a couple of shots that may have, uh, you know, eased, uh, eased down the pressure. Right. But... Uh, uh, most of the times you are not happy when you get out. Yes. However, however many runs you score, it doesn't matter. You don't want to get out. It's the same, you haven't changed much. But uh, uh, Second question was sledging. When people, bowlers, fast bowlers come, do you look them in the eye? Do you look away? Do you ignore them? What do you do? I decide what to do, not the it bowler. It, it, Sometimes yeah. if, if the bowler says, I, I don't say, I don't react. Sometimes there would be just eye-to-eye -eye contact. Sometimes, uh, you know, you have to give it back, uh, you know, just to, I mean, so, so uh, you got to, you got to, in that particular moment, you have to try and figure out what, what would the, bring the best out of you, if you did certain things. Yeah, yeah. And, and eventually what I want to do is bring the best out of myself. Does it distract you at all, the sledging, or you make sure it doesn't? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. doesn't. I mean, if, it, if probably it's, distracts the bowler. Actually. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, the the players have their own ways of uh, disturbing yeah. you, your yeah. concentration, right? You know, your form. Uh, but it, but it's up to an individual whether you want to react or you don't want to react. Right. Listen to what you said when you were 19 years old. Let's take a situation where you've just got out. What is your first reaction at that time? First reaction is I get very angry. Angry? <laughs> angry on myself and uh, later on I try and cool down somehow. And I try and analyze my mistake. And tell me, do they try and uh, put you off your stride when you're on the field? Do they try and sort of say things and disturb you? I mean, the Australians and the Pakistanis are seem to be famous for this. But I suppose everybody does. It, yeah, they did, they did a little bit, but uh, I think I was, I was expecting all these things to happen to me. So, and most of the time I try and ignore them. But do you ever reply to them? Well, sometimes you have to do that, otherwise they'll keep on going on and on and so... Because that's the one thing we don't hear on the TV cameras. I think they, they manage to avoid the microphone. Luckily we don't have any microphones <laughs> fixed in <laughs> no. 
You haven't changed much. You had the same maturity at that time. What you've seen there, NDTV's uh, Indian of the Year in sports, undoubtedly Sachin Tendulkar, but the cricketer being his humble self uh, there and answering to all of those questions is pretty much the way he did 19 years ago. Now, the superstar of Indian films, meanwhile, Rajni Kant has won NDTV's Entertainer of the Decade today. Perhaps uh, another big award tonight so far but uh, Endiran as he calls it is the best performance for him personally some of the other awards this night was uh, the actor of the award which went to Ajay Devgan the actress of the year female uh, Vidya Balan entertainer of the year was uh, Sheila of uh, Sheila Ki Jawani Miss Katrina Kef but flanked by all of these stars on stage Rajnikan still owes pretty much all of his uh, successes to uh, a divine intervention to God, he says. He listen into what he had to say today. It was a very, very important personal experience for me to announce this particular award, Entertainer of the Decade, because it's to a human being who is humble, who is a, a, a wonderful heart, and who has had the most magnificent success that just hasn't touched him. Can you imagine producing a film in 2010 where they had to have a special show at 4 a.m. in the morning and it was house full day after day, 4 a.m. I asked Mr. Chidambaram to join me in awarding our entertainer of the decade to the one and only Rajni Khan. After you had this amazing success this year, Robot, Indiran, I think like, you can add some of the top hits of Bollywood all together and they still won't have the kind of success that you've had. Would you rate it as your best film or since we are talking about a decade and more, which is your best film, this one or others? So far, uh, definitely Robo. This is the best. Robo is the best. I mean, I consider this is the best. And did you expect, like, the, the, the huge success it got? I, I mean, I can't even begin to ima uh, uh, define the parameters of this success. Honestly, I mean, I didn't expect uh, so much. Uh, actually, it will it, become so big, I never expected. Yeah. Right. Now well, lots more on Rajnikanth's success formula and whether he will, in fact, consider entering into politics. All of that and the other awards tonight coming up on NDTV Hindu. Do stay with us. We'll be right back.